The assassin bugs all live up to their name in one way or another since they prey on a variety of animals, small and large. Some males use bright red to advertise to the ladies. And there's nothing like having the latest in adaptive flash. Assassin bugs can usually be told apart by having the edge of the body extended sideways beyond the wings. Also, their beak is three segmented and it fits into this groove on its underside. The related wheel bug may be more familiar as it is common in many gardens. Now the wheel bug gets its name from the outrageous structure on its back, making it look like a hemipteran stegosaurus. Not all the assassins look alike. Biologists group insects together according to certain structural characteristics that often defy the gestalt, like this thread-legged bug, which looks more like a walking stick than an assassin bug. Ambush bugs usually wait on flowers to attack their prey and can often kill other insects many times their size, such as bumblebees. While various species of assassin bugs inhabit Costa Rica, this species is the most worrisome, for it can carry one of the world's most unusual and deadly diseases. Chagas disease kills thousands of people every year from Mexico to Argentina. The problem isn't the insect, but rather a blood parasite, Trypanosoma cruzi, that lives in the bug's intestine. The bugs live in the nooks and crannies in houses, particularly thatched huts and woodsheds. At night, they sneak into your bed to tank up on your blood. After a hearty meal, they turn around and defecate on the wound. Of course, the next morning, you itch the bite feeling great relief, but unfortunately, the disease moves into your blood system. You may feel poorly for a few days, but then the symptoms go away. However, the disease infects the tissue of the heart and GI tract, so much so that 20 to 30 years later, about 10% of those infected die of heart failure. There is still no vaccine, nor cure, but it can be stopped if immediately treated with anti-parasite medicines. Chagas is rare in Costa Rica, but millions of people in poorer countries of Latin America are infected. Birds are attacked too, but they don't get the disease.